it, Titans. You win. Are you an everyday nerd? Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next episode. Yo, welcome back to Your Everyday Nerd. I'm your host, Zack Snyder. Today's Phil's Bad Friday. You know how these episodes go. We're just going to jump right into it. So, it's currently uh, 6.30 in the morning. And I just finished the last few episodes of Titans. Season 1. I've been putting off this episode for a, a good month now. Because I, I, I watched the first episode, did an episode on that. And it was so horrendously bad that... I didn't think I would watch the entire season, but I said, you know what? No, I'm going to watch the entire season. I need to see if this gets any better. Watch episode two. Still pretty bad. Watch episode three. Just as bad. Watch episode four. There were, there were moments of like funny jokes and enjoyment. And then I got to episode six and I was like, no, nah, this isn't going to ever get any better. Got to episode 10. Episode 10. Uh, best episode of the season and by best I mean like it, it had some good moments, but overall it was still like not great um, And then I just finished the finale I just want to go to sleep man. I needed to record this video later on today I needed to write the script record it later on today so I can get it on time But but that means like fighting through a headache being exhausted to watch this show at 6 30 in the morning and it <laughs> okay so let's go over let's go over we're, we're doing this without a script let's go over some core the mechanics of a television show right let's go over those right quick i'll go over the technical aspects of titans first overall it's shot fine um, shot composition. It looks like a comic book TV show. I'll give it that. The music is okay. There's, there's some good music in here. Most of it is like the same electronic <laughs> over and over again, but it's fine. I don't mind the music. I, I really don't. My friend Jay the Zoomster, he pointed out to me that there's like a blue filter throughout most of the show. It's just, it, it, it's just weird. I don't know why it's there, but whatever. Fine. Whatever. The special effects are mostly not that great. Um, I, I really enjoyed, I really, my favorite part of the show, <laughs> actually it's not, it's one of my favorite parts of the show, is all the blood. Like, there's just, there's just copious amounts of blood in every f***ing episode for no reason. And I don't know why that is. I, well, I know why that is. We got to. We gotta make this in a mature, a mature comic book show. Um, I'm also gonna try to refrain from using the word edgy because I could easily just say this show is too edgy and call that my review. But like, there's so much more wrong with it. Oh man, I've never, I've never hated a television show more in my life, and I, I don't want to be like one of those YouTubers that goes into extremes. I really don't like being that guy. I've done videos about movies that I thought were just okay, but I didn't say they were the worst thing ever made. I've I've talked about things that were more good than they were bad, and I've never said they're the best thing ever. I never like talking in extremes. I really don't. But like, this is the worst television show I've ever watched. It, it, it nothing. It's when I wasn't hating it, I was bored, and that's the worst thing that a piece of media can do is make you bored. Let's talk about the characters right quick, because I feel like that's a big part of what Titans is, right? Titans is about a group of these superhuman people that get together and fight evil. And that's not really what this show was about. This was more along the lines of let's get these people together somehow within the first season. And then I'm assuming when season two comes, like they'll be a good group. And they'll be able to actually like go fight some actual evil. Um, a lot of this was just kind of like none of these characters were were nice. Like none of these none of these characters are heroes. They killed people. Every single character killed somebody. The only character that killed somebody and regretted it was Gar, Beast Boy. And now I made fun of Beast Boy in my Titans episode one video because Beast Boy. Is an epic gamer boy 
Then there's probably my favorite one, <laughs> Beast Boy. Beast Boy is apparently an epic gamer because he goes into a store and steals a video game as a tiger. You know, the first, the only moment you ever see a Beast Boy in the first episode is when he's going and stealing a video game. And I just thought that was really funny, but <coughs> I'm dying because of this show. Holy <laughs> Gar or Beast Boy is the only like good character in this show. He has some flaws um, as most of these characters do, but overall, like he's a pretty good character. Uh, he has some funny moments. I really like the, ep I really like episode four because of the Doom Patrol. And there's going to be a Doom Patrol show, and I'm actually looking forward to that because these characters were actually interesting. They were actually entertaining. They were actually funny. I felt like I was watching a good show for a part of that episode, and it was partly because of Gar introducing the Doom Patrol. And that was cool. And there's a moment where, by the way, spoilers for anybody that gives a flying f Gar goes into, he ends up killing a guy by accident. There's, there's like this pivotal part of his character throughout most of the show where it's like, yeah, he can turn into a, like a green tiger, but he doesn't bite anybody. But then like in the show, he ends up biting somebody. Well, he ends up mauling the fuck out of somebody uh, and he regrets it. Like he hardcore regrets it. And even in like episode 10, like that regret manifests into like this horror supernatural thing that makes him physically sick. And so, like, that's cool. I like Gar. My, my point is, I don't like any of the other characters. I couldn't care less about any of these other characters. Uh, Rachel or Raven is a 14-year-old girl that gets on my nerves. Uh, she had, like, some character moments that were nice with Dick, with Gar, and with uh, Corey. But overall, they felt forced. Her acting is not good throughout most of the show. Dick is also pretty fucking awful. He he has like, like I don't think I ever paid attention to his acting and was like, yo, that's some good acting, man. It, it was it was just mostly bad. Most of the acting throughout the entire show is bad. What I hate so much about Robin's character, he feeds into this darkness. And I'm like, why? Why, it, are you? Are you Riku from Kingdom Hearts out of nowhere? That's that's what I felt. That's what I felt about Robin's character. He was Riku from Kingdom Hearts, but like Riku was jealous of Sora because he hanged out with Goofy and Donald Duck. What's Robin's excuse? Bro, maybe I'm just rambling for this video. I don't care. I don't care because Titans didn't care about making a good show. Starfire, Corey. Um, also bad actress, not, not good, not good at all, but like her character was awful. There was, there was one moment, there was one moment where Corey was about to kill Raven and it was like, oh, shit. like that's, that's kind of crazy, crazy. Like her entire purpose was to kill Raven throughout the entire show. I'm like, okay, cool. But, but it was like this moment where she was saying like, man, I, 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 I almost killed a girl that I love and I was like that's sweet like that's very that's very heartwarming but I cared so less about the character that that moment didn't hit me at all who am I missing uh Donna Troy is is Wonder Girl she's brought up in like episode 8 of 11 out of nowhere she's just like brought up here's a flashback of her you know let's introduce her in the show she'll come into episode 10 and then be done for like the, the rest of the season um she's fine she's she's literally just fine there there was nothing important about her and then my favorite two characters are hank and dawn or hawk and dove because they get an entire two episodes of the season for literally no reason i didn't even watch i'll tell you what i didn't even watch episode nine because it was an entire like flashback of Hank and Dawn and I didn't care about their characters. They had no purpose in episode two when they showed up. And then all of a sudden Dove shows up and, and the finale in like this dreamlike sequence, which by the way, it doesn't say it's a dreamlike sequence until like the very end of the episode, whatever. We'll get to the finale in a bit. I just, and, and, and this is what the biggest issue with Titan season one is. It's the pacing. 
is the pacing and storytelling. It is like Christopher Nolan and David Cage decided to... Oh, and by the way, Christopher Nolan has directed a Batman trilogy, so this is the funny part. It's like Christopher Nolan and David Cage had a love child, and that child was literally two years old, read like one Teen Titans comic book, and directed the the plot of this show that like this i've never seen a structure in anything like this we have 11 hours to get to know these characters and get to, to get to know what the plot of this season is and you don't really find out what the plot of the season is until the very end and even then it doesn't even stick with it so episode one introduces robin and Raven and Starfire and Beast Boy a little bit, but they're in like these 20 minute chunks and you get confused and you're like, I don't care about any of these characters. Episode two introduces Hawk and Dove. They literally don't matter. Episode three just gets Starfire and Robin and Raven to actually like start to get to know each other. Episode four is all about Gar and Doom Patrol. Again, that part was actually kind of cool. And then it's like episode five, through seven are these characters interacting together you kind of start to feel like maybe some plot stuff's gonna happen oh but also there's like these evil people that are after raven and we don't know why it just is what it is like it's very clear that raven is the pivotal part to the entire plot it just doesn't make too much sense because then you get into Episode 8 and Donna Troy is introduced and you're like, okay, Robin is a big part of the season too. And then episode 9 is Hawk and Dove again. Again, nobody cares. Episode 10, we find out about Corey and, you know, Starfire and her background. Stuff that maybe we could have learned early on. And then finally we get to the season finale. So at the end of episode 10, basically Raven's father, who is the big bad guy of the season. Uh, what's his name? Uh, hold on. His name is Trigun. No, it's Trigon. But uh, that's the only way, way I can remember his name. So we find out that Trigon is Raven's father. We find out that Raven's mother is in cahoots with her father. And the entire plot is to get Raven's father to come back from some like evil dark world. I don't know. Uh, because he wants to like destroy the entire world. So, okay. Trigon comes back. Everybody tries to save Raven and Gar because Gar's there. And then the episode ends. And episode 11 starts. And like, it starts with Robin and Dove with a child. And Dove is pregnant. And you're like, oh, okay, cool. This obviously isn't real. It doesn't really matter. Why the hell are we here? Well, the reason we're here is because Robin was put into this kind of dreamlike se sequence from Trigon. They don't ever say this. It's just kind of implied at the end of the episode. And then the entire plot of episode 11 revolves around Batman. Yes, Batman, who has only been mentioned a couple of times. The first time is the infamous Batman line. But this entire plot revolves around Batman wanting to kill the Joker and because apparently Batman has gone bad that that's what it is and Robin has decided you know what I'm gonna go save Batman Batman kills Joker he then goes into Arkham Asylum and he kills all of the Gotham like enemies which is like okay that's interesting that, that's kind of interesting I'm not a big fan of that because Batman doesn't kill but, but a Batman that is on a psychotic break that's interesting. But then he also kills like all of the innocent people at Arkham Asylum too. So you're like, oh wow, that's really f***ed up. Then he kills Starfire. Um, and then, just like the icing on the cake, Robin decides to kill Batman. And you're like, oh, that happened. Surprisingly, it wasn't as, again, I'm trying not to use the word edgy here. It wasn't as dark of a death as I thought it would be. Essentially, Robin just ends up like crushing Batman with his foot, um, and, and he had he had already been destroyed by like a bunch of rubble. Robin kill what? Like what? And then, and then Robin wakes up and he's like, "I'm feeding into my darkness. 
Oh, because of Trigon. Trigon? No, it's Trigon. He's like, Robin finally fed into his darkness. And uh, he could have made some other decisions in this dream-like thing that I made. But he didn't. Because this is the real Robin. Because, like, all throughout this entire season, he's trying to fight uh, his, 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 his dark side. Again, it's kind of like it's kind of like Kingdom Hearts. The fact that I just played Kingdom Hearts and now I'm watching, that's kind of. It's dark. I really don't care. <laughs> you know, like Titans. It's dark. Um, I just remembered that Jason Todd was in this show, and he's awful too. Anyways, let's let's just put it this way: there are a lot of problems with this show. Bad characters, bad writing, bad special effects. It's too dark, it's too edgy, whatever. The biggest issue is pacing. The, the biggest the biggest issue by far is pacing. Episodes do not go in order like they should. The Things should have happened earlier in the season to make any sense. Things should have just been taken out completely for it to make any sense. Like, the entire season one makes no sense. Especially when, like, the finale just ends. The finale just straight up ends. And apparently it's because... The writers decided, hey, instead of episode 12 being a finale, we're just going to make episode 12 the first episode of season 2. And I don't know whose idea that was, but, like, it's not smart. It doesn't make any sense. I was thinking about it. I was like, you know, Titans is kind of like uh, the DCEU. It's, like, really bad. Maybe, maybe Titans is as bad as Suicide Squad, and it's not. Suicide Squad is not as bad as Titans because Titans is 11 hours long. And that's 11 hours that I'm never getting back in my life. And I'm sad. Like, I'm legit sad. Th the worst thing is, everybody is talking about how good this show is online. And I don't understand it. I wished I could comprehend why people enjoy this show. It wasn't even an enjoyable bad for me because like I said the moments that I weren't thinking oh this is awful I was thinking oh this is boring and I'd rather literally do anything else there was an there was a part with uh Trigon where he he like sees his wife for the first time in years I guess he's like I can always depend on you lover and he says the word lover and his acting is just so bad I literally said out loud the word ew. I was like, ew. And that wasn't the first time I said the word ew. Oh, man. I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, we're not gonna do a, uh, we're not gonna do a sponsorship section for this episode because I don't feel like it. And, um, I think I'm just gonna end the video. I think I'm just gonna end it. If you like Titans, please let me know why, why the hell you like this show. Um, I'll listen to your comments. I, I, I genuinely want to know why anybody would like this show. Um, if you don't like this show, then I won't blame you. Uh, let me know. Or I don't even know. Like, We'll be back tomorrow. We're going to do an Iron Man 2 video. That'll be dope. Um, got some B-sides on the way. Get hyped for that. Some actually good stuff. And uh, I'm going to go to bed now. So... Have a good night. I'll see you next time.